YouTube, Scott Scott Off-Road. How are you doing today? Well, it's been a while. I've been pretty busy. I did a remodel project on the house and then getting the Jeep ready for a Jeep trip and building a Jeep trailer to go along with it. I'm going to go around the Jeep trailer and show you what I've done and what it, so what it started out as and what it is now. Um, originally, it was a Lowe's carry-on trailer, three and a half by five foot with 12 inch tires, I believe. Um, got a great deal on it. It was on sale and then military discount on top of that. So I really did pretty well. Um, I did think about building it from scratch, but what I came up with in doing that was the axle, the hubs, um, the suspension, the lights, the coupler, everything, all the individual parts without the metal ended up costing more mosquito than purchasing the trailer. Now granted with the trailer I had to do a lot of work to it, but um, got it home, I was using it, I was running out of time for the Jeep trip so I was afraid I was going to have to take it on the trip without modifying it, but I was able to make some time up on it and get some work done to it. The idea is eventually when I go on trails I want to be able to tow this behind the Jeep and not have any problems with it. I also want to load the kayaks and the paddleboard on it and have that whenever we want to go to the lake or ponds and go um, kayaking. I'll interject some pictures in here and see if I can get edit them all together. But basically what I did was I cut the axle in half and put a solid steel rod inside drilled holes in the axle tube and plug welded everything together then welded around the seam where they go together and that stretch gave me the actual width I needed for the wheelbase. Then while I had it out I cut the perches off the axle tubes, spun them over so I could do a spring over. The axle I originally thought was straight, it's actually bowed for weight distribution and if I wouldn't have rotated the perches, then the axle would have bowed downwards, which would have cut into um, my clearance height, but also it wouldn't have functioned under load. So spring over lift, widen the axles. The hubs on this are five on four and a half, which, met, which match the Jeep TJ, which is ideal because with the new height, I went ahead and cut the fenders off, but with the new height, I was able to put on um, wheels that match the same size as the Jeep. So I'm running 33, 12, 50, 15s on an aluminum wheel. Now I was sc scouring Craigslist, buy, sell, trade on uh, Marketplace, Facebook, and different places, and found the tires used, and but I couldn't find wheels, and then. I believe 4WD had the wheels on sale for $60 a piece delivered. So that those a set of matched lug nuts that are keyed to match the Jeep. The fenders are custom built. A uh, friend of a friend uh, used 16 gauge steel for me and bent this loop in it or this lip in it for me. I notched them and then put them on, clamped them down to the workbench and bent them over to get the angles I want. And this way it keeps from throwing rocks into the back window of the Jeep and the people behind me. It keeps it legal going down a lot of the roads. I took just rattle can bed liner, the rubbery stuff underneath it just to protect it and then just uh, inexpensive black spray paint to match the um, trailer. Other than that, in the front, I haven't done much to it. I put a wire loom protector on the wires just to make it look a little nicer, protect the wires. I went to a local farm and garden stop uh, shop and bought this rubber mat because the floor is just mesh. I want to add some protection for anything inside. Um, I like the looks of it. I like the way it functions. The one issue I'm still struggling with is, and you can kind of see a little bow in this front corner here, but I cut this to fit on a cool day and then it sat out in the sun and expanded. So I trimmed it again and it still 
it cooled and then it was a little too small then the next day it was hotter so it got even wider so i'm just still struggling on getting it to the right side size the tailgate's a lift off uh, just uses these little pins to hold it down and i just used some paracord tied it up so i don't drop these pins because i know me i would drop them and lose them and that would just suck there it is so the paracord just one makes it easier to pull off but two i don't drop it and then on the back i went ahead i didn't like the license plate underneath the light where it's supposed to go so i put it in the center of the tailgate and then did the scott off-road logo and mounted an axe on there the axe was on the inside of the trailer originally but as small as this is again three and a half by five it really kind of cuts away into my storage and the totes I'm using did not fit properly. I just picked up these totes. These are Huskies, 25 gallons. They're uh, 31 and a half inches wide, 21 inches long, 14.7 inches high. Got two teenage girls and my wife riding with me to Drummond Island, Michigan, up in Lake uh, Huron for a Jeep Jamboree that's coming up in two days. So what well, we gave each of the girls a small tote on the 15 gallons and said, that's what we got. That's make sure you all your stuff fits in it. And then the wife and I each have a larger tote. I'm going to share my tote with uh, life jackets and some tools. My wife will have hers for a little bit of overflow. Um, on the way back, we are stopping mall of America. So I, I'm not, I'm not stupid. The girls are going shopping. So I may be stacking totes and getting more, but the illusion is, well, they can fit whatever they have and whatever they buy has to fit in their totes. So we'll see how that works out. But so we'll see how this works out. Um, again, it's a Lowe's three and a half by five trailer. It's been lifted with a spring over lift and 33, 12, 50, 15 tires on aluminum wheels. And really, that's about all I've done to it. So the idea here is that, again, I'm going to lengthen the tongue eventually. And I'm actually going to put an adjustable tongue on it so I can keep it short when it needs to be short. And then lengthen it up when I'm pulling the kayaks. Right now, the kayaks are kind of dirty. They stack quite nicely. And that's how I've been carrying them. And they fit okay. But I want to do something a little bit better and a little bit conducive for not wearing out the kayaks and rub marks. But so that's the three and a half by five build. We'll add more later. And like I said, I'll add some pictures of the in progress and where we're at. Thank you much. Have a blessed day.